We are live. Good morning, guys. It is a Thursday morning and we are live. I'm super bright right now, but that's because the light is right in my face. Okay, so I already prepped this craft pretty much to the point where I can just kind of talk about what we're going to do. And I'm not going to finish the whole thing because I think it'll take a second to finish it. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you guys can do with some vinyl specifically vinyl maybe that you don't like the color of maybe you got it in a mystery box maybe you bought a variety pack of vinyl and you like all the colors except one you can use the other ones for stencils so i am going to use this as a stencil today i took an ansia sound art canvas and i covered it in fabric and i have a tutorial on that you guys can check out but I, um, you guys can say hi where you're from so I can say hi to you guys this morning and I'm going to let you guys know a couple of exciting things in a little bit when a little bit more people are here. But um, we are doing, so I decided I wanted to do my own milestone canvases for when you guys join my family and we become a big happy family and I wanted to do 60K. Good morning guys from Texas, from Kentucky. Um, I wanted to do a 60K canvas when I hit 60,000 subscribers in diamonds because Disneyland did their 60th in diamonds but we hit 65 and I think we're now at like 68,000 so that is just I'm just overwhelmed with the amount of people that are joining me in my DIY family but I so I thought I'd uh, do 65 before we hit 70 and then I probably won't do another canvas because uh, hopefully we'll get the silver play button pretty soon so um I basically just cut out <clears throat> 65K out of vinyl and then reverse weeded it so that the negative space was now the letter because I'm gonna put crystals in there. Covered the canvas with some fabric. I also thought about doing like watercolor like we did with our rose one, the Wi-Fi password canvas. So you could do that as well. Um, but I wanted to do fabric because if I don't like it or I ruin it, I can just take this off and redo it, as well as it was really fast and easy, especially because I wanted to prep this live video and get it up for you guys today. And with that, the new exciting announcement, live morning Thursdays are where it's at. So if you guys are catching me and it's a convenient time right now, I'm excited because I'm gonna be live every Thursday morning Lord willing, um, every time I commit to something, it seems like something falls into place where I can't make it or I can't do it. So the plan is to go live every Thursday morning and hang out with you guys. And we're actually prepping the craft beforehand. So right after this, you guys will get to see um, the stuff you will need for next week's craft and all of that good stuff. And I'm gonna show it to you guys right now what we are making next week and you guys can come and the blog, antitay.com will show you what you need, where to get it, um, and then you can make it beforehand if you want. It's kind of time sensitive since it's for Thanksgiving, but or it's, it's for the fall time. But if you want to sit through it and see how we make it, I'm going to show you. So to next week, we are making this adorable pumpkin banner out of yarn. So the blog will tell you exactly what we used. Um, of course, we're probably going to be using the Cricut a lot for it. So um, if you don't have a Cricut, there are, I'll try to come up with a couple modifications probably in my head to let you guys know how to do it. But this week, we'll be making this. Yeah, I know. Super cute. So I don't want to show you guys it too much because next week we're going to be spending some time on that. So this week I wanted to drop my hot glue gun on my lap because that's always fun. Good thing it's a uh, low temp glue gun. These glue guns are really bad. Uh, I hate to do bad reviews, but I bought these at Michael's, the Craft Smart ones, for like $2. I bought like five of them to just keep in here for other people when they're here. And they're not the best hot glue guns, probably because they're like $2. So... What's your guys' favorite glue gun? Because I'm in the market to look for some really good ones. Uh, I have a couple that I really love, but I am notorious for leaving my glue guns on too long and then I kind of ruin them. So, um, we've cut this out and then I've just got these crystals from San Francisco, San Francisco, San Francisco. No, I did not get these from San Francisco. Someone said they were from San Francisco. Um, I got these from Michael's, I believe, and they were $10, but I used my coupon, so I think I got them for $5. This was the day I told you guys I was kind of depressed because I went to 
not depressed in a real way, but I was just kind of bummed because when I went to Michael's, like nothing was on sale and they only had one coupon. And you know, you hate it. So we're not gonna do this whole thing. I'm just gonna show you what I would do and give you guys an idea for this. And then I will take a picture when it's complete and put it up on Instagram. So I'm just gonna kind of lay out these since they're all different sizes. And if you notice in the font, there's like these little thin lines right here. And then there's these big thick lines. So I'm gonna scatter between big and little, but I want the little ones to be able to fit in these little notches right here so it might take some layout first so maybe we'll lay out all of the six and then we'll hot glue that after we're done with it so I'm just gonna turn you guys like that and um, I'm just gonna dump these guys out because that's probably the best way to do this because otherwise we're just gonna be working on this all day so I would probably just flip the crystals over of course having nails is not the best for this and I could use one of my Cricut tools or something to kind of scatter them around and then move them. So how's everybody's Thursday morning going? I'm super excited to start hanging out with you guys every Thursday because it just worked out once I started thinking about my schedule and we were kind of going, we were trying to go live on Tuesdays and that's kind of like just right in the middle of the week. I feel like Thursdays are going to be so much better because I will be able to prep stuff for you guys and we'll have lots of fun things planned and don't forget to follow that blog so the blog post will come out also every Thursday but it will come out the week before we go live so you guys can see um, what we're gonna be making that next week and then I'll also have a hashtag for you guys that you guys can hashtag and I'll be watching your guys's projects if you want to take pictures and show me at the same time so is this my job pretty much crafting yes it is my job um, Michaels has a buy one, get one 50 off the Cricut supplies right now. Uh, yes. So buy one, get one 50 is basically 25% off. So if that's, if you can't find an online coupon for 25% off plus shipping, then it's always better to get it at the craft store. Um, there is a bundles on the easy press right now on sale, which I have not shared the link to cause I've been crazy busy, but if anyone is interested in the bundle for the easy press, I can share that. So I think what I would do would I, instead of just like going and hot gluing these and kind of randomly putting them on, this is how I'd probably do it. I'd get them how I like them first and then I would go in probably with some tweezers and hot glue these bad boys on. But since I didn't grab my tweezers, I'm gonna read your guys' comments. I have a quick question. If I use regular vinyl on a shirt, would I be able to remove it trying to figure out the best way to put something on a shirt for Halloween without it being permanent? Um, regular vinyl would probably stick, but not really well. Um, non, I would just get a really cheap shirt and make it permanent. I, I don't know how you would do it not permanently. Unless you're doing like polka dots for like a puppy dog or something big that you don't mind if they're coming off. Also, you could do something like felt and you could sew it on by hand with just a few stitches and pull and just seam rip it off later so that uh, you could just kind of like stitch something cute on and then take it off or you could iron on to like a piece of fabric and then stitch that on by hand and take that off where can I get the Cricut Explore Air 2 for the best price um I believe they are they could be on sale right now just watch the website because they go on sale pretty often and then if there are any coupons that they send me I make sure to add those and if they're on sale at Michaels or anything like that you guys can follow their I think Michaels just sent out a cricket something in an email about cricket yesterday so I think some stuff is on sale at Michaels right now too so you get my gist. I think I'll just do this little circle with you guys so we don't sit here all day working on crystals. But welcome, you finally made it to a live show. Um, the Easy Press Bundle, I'm not sure, but I know it's a pretty good deal. So I will post that uh, on Facebook it, when I'm done with this. So if you're interested in the Easy Press Bundle, watch my Facebook page. And I, or if you're in our group, our Taze patrons group, you don't have to actually be a patron to be in the Facebook group. You guys can join that group. When am I doing a tutorial on the sequence pillow? That is part of the Christmas series that will come out 
uh, December, like the first week of December or the last week of November or something like that. So that will be up. I'm not extremely happy how the sequence pillows turned out. They, um, they are not the best tutorial, but I did share, I did finish the video because I wanted you guys to have the idea and to come up with like your own ideas for it. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, I did reversible sequence pillows. You know those cool sequins that are like crazy that one color on one side and another color on another side? Look at this. I need tweezers. So, um... Or you can just use your weeding tool. I'm not sure how much the contrast is going to look. So when I should post the picture, you guys will see. So with the sequins, pillows, um, I tried to do a design on one side and then a design on the other side. Welcome, welcome. It's your first time to a live show. Yeah, I went live last night at Landis's scrimmage. And I went live on my vlog channel and there was one person there. And then I went live on this channel and there was like five people there. So nighttime is not so much. And then obviously it was a scrimmage. So it's not like I was crafting. So I didn't anticipate too many people to be interested. But it was kind of fun. All right. Someone asks, should I do iron for a t-shirt? And since it's an image, which video would help me with cutting different pieces? It's a kitty cat. So um, how to make t-shirts is probably my Mickey ear... Uh, hoodie tutorial is probably good for that because I layered different iron-ons but I do have a video coming out on PJs this Christmas that will I'm not sure when you I'm sure you need it before then but I did a like a six layered iron-on little reindeer onto some PJs that will be coming out this Christmas as well but if you need it before then um, I would just watch any of my iron-on videos so once you get it how you like it and they're not like I don't like clusters of things to look the same so I don't know if you guys can see this but it's like um I tried to get like the big ones a little separated and not too close and the little ones my birthday was amazing um we spent the day in Puerto Vallarta well we spent the day flying to Puerto Vallarta and then we went um to Puerto Vallarta for the week and I live streamed the thunderstorm and everyone was like I'm so sorry you're having a bad weather on your birthday and I was like I have been wanting this so the first day it's story time now the first day we got there we woke up and there was thunder like crazy thunder it felt like the building was going to fall apart it was so crazy and so like I'm sleeping in because we're on vacation you know it's the day after my birthday and I'm yeah the thunderstorm was so cool and that thunderstorm was actually pretty far away that I live streamed the other thunderstorm that woke us up the morning the first morning was so close it was crazy so I was like oh every morning we're gonna wake up and it's gonna be like this and no there were no more thunderstorms that close and I was bummed because I was like oh I want to live stream one that's like this close so I wake up and the kids are like literally on the back porch like oh so cool like every time it cracks closer and closer they're like so amazed but then they started kind of getting scared because it was so close and so I was like okay I need to get up and go out there all the other adults were awake I was sleeping in and um we go I go to open the back door and so our the back porch like went along both of the adult rooms so like their room and our room but there's like these sheer curtains so you can kind of see through it and all of a sudden I go to open the door and like the entire room is just like as bright as the light that is shining on my face right now and like the doors just like and they're like bright lights like felt like I was going into heaven and I was like I'm gonna walk out and my kids are gonna have been struck by lightning and then I hear Landis go I just got struck by lightning and I was like okay she didn't get struck by lightning if she's running around yelling that she got struck by lightning and so I go outside and she's just like totally terrified. She's like, it struck me, it struck me. I'm like, no, if it struck you, you would have been dead. So we were like, okay, make sure everyone comes inside. But that was the last big lightning strike. So I was like, I want to see one that close because I didn't actually get to see it. I was like laying down in the, the, and everybody else was watching it. But they said it was literally right in front of our window and like it literally struck and I'm pretty sure Landis felt like the charge of it but she did not get struck by lightning and then we learned that like the lightning around there is always kind of going on but it's not um it's not dangerous but that <laughs> that one was dangerous that but then like the locals wow that was really cute Tania so the locals 
were like out golfing and like doing the yard work and stuff while that lightning was going on. So I was like, obviously this is so common here that it's not that big of a deal. And so I was asking all the people that like worked there, I was like, am I gonna get to see more lightning? Was there, is that like every morning? And they were like, yeah, it's pretty common, but um, it wasn't. So now I'm just kind of moving these crystals out of the way so I can hot glue, but kind of keeping them close by so I know where I put them. So this is a lot of work. I want to come up with a different style where like a template that you can drop the rhinestones into. I've seen people do it, and I would actually probably prefer using a hot high temp glue gun for this because low temp glue guns make so many spider webs. I hate it, but I'm using it because it was nearby. And I wanted to get this video up for you guys. So this is going to take forever. Just make sure you don't glue over the stencil because then the stencil won't come off probably. So that was a fun adventure for my birthday. What else did we do in Puerto Vallarta though? Um, does vinyl stay well on cups and shirts? Looking to make gifts but I don't want them to peel. Yeah, vinyl does stay well on cups you don't want to use vinyl for shirts you want to use iron-on for shirts and we also just did a let's try it with iron-on on cups and that was amazing so some companies call it heat transfer vinyl but Cricut calls it iron-on and regular vinyl because they're smart and they want you to realize that there's a big difference between those two things vinyl is like a sticker iron-on is like a piece of um, plastic that has glue on the back of it it's a lot different than just regular vinyl. So guys, this is a really, really tedious craft. And I'll probably make my kids finish this. <laughs> but it's a good idea if you want to do this. Where is it, Canada? What, where's what? Why don't you use Mod Podge? That would probably be a good idea too. I'm not a huge fan of Mod Podge because I feel like when you put it over crystals, cause you put it under and then I guess you maybe put it over, but I feel like it leaves like a film and then it kind of gets like clear on the outside. So I could use regular glue too as well and that would probably not dry as fast and I could do like a line of glue and then stick these on, especially because this thing's just gonna sit on the wall. It doesn't even need like strong glue. It's not like it's going outside or anything. So yeah, regular glue would probably be better for this. Um, the fun thing about live videos is I have to use whatever's in my area, but my glue is, let me see. Let me grab my box of glue and I'll be back. No, nope, that's just my box of hot glue. I'm not sure where all my regular glue is right now. The fun thing about crafting in here all the time is we move everything around. So it is going to look cool, but it's going to take a long time to finish this. And I have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm going to finish this. And I just wanted to, you know, give you an idea of how you could do this. And then maybe discuss like other ideas if you guys have other ideas. From North Korea, wow, you're super far away. Uh, Montana, please send a shout out to my wife Elizabeth who's a big fan of yours and is also watching. Hi Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning, I was thinking of regular glue. Yep, yep, Katie, she knows more than me about crafting, she does. That's the creative sister guys. That's, uh, we're, doing, we're doing a couple videos for you guys. Actually, a creative sister video is going up as soon as Holla DIY starts, I think my first one is a creative sister video that I turned out so cute. Binge watching your videos, getting a cricket for my birthday. That is super exciting. I'm super excited for you. I love, obviously, my cricket. So if you guys get one, I'm super excited. <laughs> yeah, the thankful blocks are going up, I think, on a Wednesday. So Holla DIYs are gonna be Mondays, and Wednesdays in, thir in November, and then a live Thursday, and then in December, they're gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, from December 1st to December 25th. So, lots of videos for you guys, and I'm promising you them because I already shot them and got them all done. Your birthday's the 30th, 51 years young. That's exciting. We have so many birthdays in October. So it's my birthday, Anna's birthday, um, my friend Melissa's birthday, my dad's birthday, uh, I feel like there's more. Oh, Landis, or Briley's best friend and her little brother, and then the creative sister's son's birthday. There are so many birthdays in October. Katie's, her name's Katie, but her son's birthday, and then we've got 
We have so many birthdays in October. It's just a birthday month. Steph's birthday, yep, our friend Stephanie, and she has an amazing Halloween party for her birthday party, and it's, I was invited this year, and it was so much fun. I wasn't invited last year, so I was kind of mad, and I told her, and then she invited me, but it's all good. So, we had a, we had a really good time. There's pictures on Facebook if you guys want to see. Actually, I don't think there's pictures on my personal, and there's only personal, personal pictures. I'll post some pictures on Instagram so you guys can see. All right, I'm going to finish this, and I will see you guys. Your birthday was the 12th. That's Anna's birthday. Anna's birthday is October 12th. That's exciting. I study crystal structure in my, in my colleagues, my projects, and I work for a sports company, TSSF. Wait, wait, what? You work for the sports company, San Francisco. What are people talking about right now? Do you think vinyl or iron-on was better on cups? I like the iron-on on, on the cups. I'm gonna make Christmas gifts this year. Wow, when you hold the crystal with hot glue on it for so long that it dries because you're using a low temp glue gun. Guys, this is really just an experimental live video right now because our, our legit live videos are gonna start next week. This one was like something I threw together realistically, but I did wanna try this. I wanted to try a stencil with crystals and I wanna hang out with you guys because I love you guys. Yes, we are doing World Series products. Sorry, not SF. So you work for a sports company and you're doing World Series products. Yes, so you're the companies that make like the, yay, Astros won the 2017 World Series and then you also make the, yay, the Dodgers won the 2017 World Series and then you ship all of it to China because the ones that they didn't win don't work, right? Or you ship it to another country and then you always see the people wearing like Astros 2017 champions. I don't know, what do you do with the shirts for the team that doesn't win? Do you, all leagues, yes, American made. Um, what do you use transfer tape for? Transfer tape is used for vinyl. Um, you can, so that's like the number one question. People are confused and I feel like it's partially the companies that call heat transfer vinyl's fault because iron-on and vinyl are completely different things. And vinyl needs transfer tape and iron-on doesn't need transfer tape. Getting my Cricut for Christmas, so excited. I've been buying clearance vinyl that's smart and my number one tip is to practice on paper just uh even okay so this is another new tip guys even if you're good and you're not sure like if the project is going to work out try the cut on paper first and see what it looks like and then do it on your actual project if you're doing a big project if you're just doing little projects just try it on vinyl um but yeah that's my number one tip for that is to practice on paper before you know your machine because it really helps you just learn the buttons and the flow of the machine and like getting used to what button you press at all times and finding different and even a couple different papers you can just learn how to switch your pressure and stuff like that doing cups for thanksgiving what would be the best material to use so depending on what kind of cups you're doing um you could do a stencil and paint or you can do vinyl and uh, but the thing with vinyl is a lot of people like to seal it and I've not gotten good at sealing cups because I haven't done that or practiced that. So I want to practice that so I can give you guys some tips. And then iron-on, I'm, I'm just going to start recommending iron-on to your cups if they're ceramic or metal. Um, not plastic. If you're doing plastic, I would do vinyl. But if they're metal or, and not using your heat press for the cups, I'd probably use an iron or a mini iron for the cups. Cause you guys watched my Let's Try It and it was, it was, it worked, but the heat press is a little big for that. What about glass? So I'm gonna do a Let's Try It on glass as well. Depending on the type of glass, I know that it would be fine, especially if it's microwave safe because if it can handle the microwave, it could probably handle an iron. But I don't want to say, yes, go for it until I can try it and make sure that it works so that you guys don't go and do it and then break your everything. I don't know. I don't need, I'm pretty sure it would be fine, but glass, well, glass can handle pretty high temperatures. So I want to do a seamless wine glass. Yeah, I don't, and see, wine glasses are so delicate that I'm not sure if I would 
do iron on on wine glass stemless that makes more sense i was like i don't really know what a seamless wine glass is but i'm just gonna accept that it's maybe just a wine glass just got the Cricut Maker for my birthday on the 22nd. Yeah, who else is our October birthdays? We need to have a party. A party. Yeah, so I tried to avoid my birthday by leaving the country and then everyone found out it was my birthday. But it's okay. It's okay. My Cricut is cutting above the mat's top line. Any tips? Um, If it's cutting above the top line, maybe you don't have it loaded completely. So when you load your mat, you wanna make sure it actually got successfully loaded um, because sometimes it can pick it up, like it cannot pick it up, but then pick it up like a second too late. I'm trying to like explain it. It picks it up just like a little bit too in, like it starts to roll and it doesn't actually grab the mat, but then it does grab the mat. So then it registers that the mat is fully loaded, but it's not fully loaded. So it's cutting in the wrong spot. You want to make sure you press your mat firmly against your rollers and then press the load and it pulls your mat in right away. If it didn't pull it in and then it kind of like accidentally pulls it in in a second, that's not good. Unload it and restart. Mine did that because I didn't make sure that the mat wasn't fully loaded. Exactly. So if it's not fully loaded, you might have that issue. So just make sure that you're always fully loading your mat. That's one of the things that in my So You Bought a Cricut Now What, I kind of went over that with the hubs to make sure that, you know, he fully loaded his mat because that's one of the biggest mistakes, actually. People put the mat on the board and they press the load and they don't hold the mat firmly and then press the load. So... I'm actually in 2018 going to start doing some of those really, really basic, super fast videos like how to load your mat and that'll be the one video so that it goes over all those little tips and tricks and stuff like that that I don't think so and it's been nice having Anna in here and a couple friends in here that have never used the machine and I've been writing down like all of the things that I have to remind them or let them know because I see that they're not doing it so I've my beginner tutorials are really going to step up their game next year because I'm learning how beginners learn again because I was a beginner I was actually only a cr I've only been using the Cricut now for a year and a half surprisingly I have not that's why when you guys ask me about certain projects I'm not fully educated on some things because I haven't done them yet so I still only have been using it for a year and a half but I use it every day of my life so I do know a lot about the machine and I have made a lot of mistakes and that's why I do know a lot about the machine because I don't want you guys to make those mistakes or I anticipate that you are going to make those mistakes so I try to help you not make them and that's that's my biggest thing that I want to like help you guys with I want to be the one to make the mistakes so that you guys don't have to make those mistakes. And I feel like you learn so much through making mistakes. And once you make a big mistake, you're, you usually never make that mistake again. Because you're like, oh my gosh, I cut the iron on regular way, not backwards. And I just cut eight pieces of it. And now, you know, that is a mistake that almost everyone makes. But I feel like that's also one that I can't just tell you. You've got to actually make that mistake and feel that pain for you to like remember. Okay, I got to flip my iron on backwards. It was my second time it happened to me and I've ruined my vinyl cut. Yeah, make sure you load your mat completely. I've been experimenting with iron on because of you. I can't wait to get my easy press. You're so fabulous. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the easy press is really fun. We just did Christmas pillow covers. That'll be a video coming up soon that we use the easy press for. Um, I have not used it as much as I'd like to use it. The fun thing about making these tutorials, and fun I mean kind of a bummer, is I've got to go on to like, teaching you guys different little things of different stuff and I don't get to sit and just play but I specifically shot all of my holiday videos early so that I can really play this holiday and get to know like how to use everything exactly how I want to use it and get some more ideas for 2018 and all that good stuff your videos are so helpful though don't sell yourself short for it. I well and that's my point is like I, I've been helpful to you guys because I've kind of been learning a lot of this stuff and when I make a mistake I'm like oh gotta let them know like don't make sure make sure that you do it this way and um, the cricket team is extremely helpful too like they um, and that's one thing that I've learned like if you guys listen to me I try like and you do what I do or say not to do because I've already done it then you'll probably do that and I've learned like 
Most of the time people are telling you to do something because they've tried it and it didn't work and they don't want you to make that same mistake. Same goes with all type of advice. So if someone is passionately giving you advice about something, um, your maker arrived yesterday. I'm super excited for you. I'm more excited for you guys when you guys get your crickets and makers because I know you guys are actually gonna like play with them right now. And I am so busy, I don't have a moment to do it. But you guys are gonna rock their socks off. I don't know who they are, but you are. But um, that's what I was saying. If someone's passionately giving you advice about something, it's usually be because they made a mistake or they went through it and they lovingly don't want you to go through it. So if someone's giving you advice, heed it. That's my biggest, if people ask like, you know, like what's your biggest word of advice? And my biggest word of advice is to listen to advice. I've... I've steered clear from a lot of hardships by listening to other people's mistakes. And then I've tried to steer clear other people from hardships by sharing my mistakes. So share your mistakes and listen to advice. That's what I would give my, that would be my one word of advice to anyone. But I'm sure I have a lot more advice in my head because I'm a know-it-all sometimes for sure. I definitely, but I feel like I listen to know-it-alls and I love know-it-alls and if they do know it all, I like try to absorb everything they have to say because I'm like, this person knows it all. Pillow covers, that's a great idea so you don't have to have a ton of pillows for holidays. Okay, so if you like that idea, guys, I did not even plan this. And I said this in all my intros when I was doing them yesterday. I did not plan this, but every video I did pretty much for this holiday is like a versatile decor video. It's not necessarily, it's... Christmas decorated, but it's something that you can either leave up all year long or it changes so that it lasts longer than just Christmas. And I didn't plan this, it just happened. And I don't know why my brain starts doing that, but once I start thinking of like a concept, then all these other ideas come into my head and that's just how it happens. So everyone loves their easy press, so make sure I will, um, Make sure to remind me to post it after this. There's a, if my laptop was nearby, I would look up the deal, but there's an Easy Press bundle deal right now. Is hot glue safe to use on rhinestones on a scrapbook page? Um, yeah, it's, it, well, uh, it depends on what kind of paper you're using. I would probably just use, I would use a strong glue like E6000 or even um, like double-sided tape, not double-sided tape, but those double-sided like really strong tape. Scrapbooks are a little iffy. I don't, I don't scrapbook very often, and I well, I don't scrapbook, but I want to scrapbook, and that was actually one of my goals for this holiday season. I wanted to kind of put together some scrapbooks, my kids scrapbook, but I don't know about crystals. That wasn't very helpful, was it? Okay, so I probably wouldn't use hot glue on paper because I've noticed that when you use hot glue on paper, sometimes it discolors the paper depending on what the color the paper has in it. Um. Who is, in, who is having the bundle for the Easy Press? Cricut.com has the bundle for the Easy Press. So uh, there's, a good, there's a good one. Just make sure, follow Instagram right after this and I will post the code or the link to it and you guys can find it. And I'm thinking Facebook because Instagram is lame for links. You can't put a link to where it goes. So Facebook patron group I will post in and I will also post it on Auntie Tay on Facebook. So check that out and I'll put the Easy Press price and the link to get it and all that good stuff. And I'm not sure what comes in the bundle, but there'll be pictures. <laughs> there'll be a picture. Sorry I'm not super helpful right this moment, but I will be in as soon as I'm done. You guys are just distracting me. I'm gonna, I wanna hang out with you guys. So this is coming along quite slowly, but it'll get there one day. Ooh, since I hot glued a crystal onto a crystal, you could really do like, I don't know if you can see this, but I hot glued the crystal onto the crystal on accident, but it, you could kind of like layer it so you get rid of all those little things and it kind of be like a, mind you, I say it, cluster. I know that word, I hate that word. I hate the word cluster. It's it's like how moist is weird to some people. Cluster is the weird the weird word that I cannot stand. It's more like because I visualize clusters of things and I hate clusters of things. I have that weird phobia of clusters. Is that even a cluster? I know it's a phobia because I've seen that it's a phobia and I tried to prove it to someone like, look, see, I told you it's not a th it is a thing to be afraid of clusters. 
weirdest, weirdest conversation ever, I think. <laughs> All right, so I should probably get going because I have a lot of stuff to do today, but I will see you guys next Thursday for the pumpkin garland. If you guys want to, so if you want the Easy Press bundle, check out the link after this. And if you want to know what you need for the pumpkin garland, I'll just say it right now since you guys are still with me. Bye, Melissa. Um, you'll need yarn. You'll need paper if you want to do the little extra doodads. You'll need a piece, piece of twine or a roll of twine if you don't have twine already. But I recommend having a roll of twine because twine is so cute and it's so versatile. You could use it for so many things. So just buy a roll of twine if you don't have one. And pipe cleaners, green pipe cleaners. And that's all you need. And super cute when it's done. So we're going to make that next week together. So I'll see you all next week. Thursday. I'm glad you think this was awesome. I will, I literally love hanging out with you guys. And if I didn't have more to do today, I would literally hang out with you guys all day. But I will see you guys next Thursday and there will be a few videos up until then. Yeah, there'll be the Creative Sister video will be up before next Thursday as well because, oh my gosh, it's almost November. Christmas is here. I know we love Thanksgiving too, guys. I know I'm not like the, one of those people who are like, I love Christmas and forget Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving, but to me, they go together like salt and pepper and they're amazing together. So, um, I'm excited. I love, 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 love Christmas. Okay. Bye guys. I love you guys.